so-called demon pass procedure. My next guest is fighting back, just introducing a resolution requiring a straight vote, no shortcuts. Congressman Parker Griffith is a Republican from Alabama. By the way, he has just switched parties. Congressman, um, what the heck is going on there? I mean, to a lot of people jamming those phone lines in that building behind you, they're asking the same. Well, they are asking the same. This is basically uh, deception on steroids right now. We've got, uh, we've got a Democratic uh, leadership that is absolutely fearful that they will not be able to pass this health care bill. They don't have the votes now. They're going through the uh, slaughter uh, maneuver, so to speak, to uh, force, uh, force a vote on a rule that will allow the Democratic uh, Congress people not to have to vote up or down on the uh, Senate uh, health care bill. It's deception. It's deceit. Uh, it's the avoidance of the democratic process, and we're hoping that we can uh, uh, s push back so hard against that that the American people will react so strongly to it that they'll put it aside and they'll play this, play this health care debate like it should be played, and that's straight up. Yeah, but uh, uh, whatever, when you Steny agree Hoyer, or sir, when Steny Hoyer, the number two in the Senate, uh, in the House, I'm sorry, w w was asked about this, he said, people, I'm paraphrasing here, sir, but people won't remember the details of, about the process if they see the final results in that it's health care passed, whether it's one or two bills. What do you make of that, that the ends will justify the means, at least in the party leadership size? Well, I think it's an ind indication of a disrespect for the American public's mind on 18, 17 percent of the gross domestic product. This is not a bill about railroads. This is not a bill, a bill about transportation. This is a bill about something that affects every human in the United States. Everyone is affected by health care. You cannot rationalize this behavior away. Well, this they is must not be sensing something. Bill. I know you're closer to the fire than I'll ever be, Congressman, but. They must be sensing they're darn close. The, the jam phone lines notwithstanding, the, 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 the panic that seems to be ensuing inside there. But they think they've got the votes. They think they're at that 216. Do you think they are? Uh, Neil, I don't think that's what they're thinking. I think they're close to losing it, not close to passing it. Really? I think they're close to this, to this thing spilling over into next week, us going home for the Easter recess, and the health care bill is going to go away, and they are panicked, and they're striking out in any way they can right now. Well, if people phone, we're talking about these jammed phone lines, Congressman. Have, have, have folks jammed yours? Have folks been calling yours? Have you noticed an uptick in, in that kind oh, of activity? absolutely. What are they saying? Abs absolutely. It's overwhelmingly against this health care bill. And uh, they're against the process. They're against the deception. They're against the secrecy. They're against, to the f they're against the fact that nobody can explain it to them. Wow. Congresswoman Pelosi can't explain it. The president can't explain it. Man, nobody man. can tell a small businessman or a housewife how this bill is going to affect their health care. And I think it's scaring America to the point where they are calling in in record numbers. And uh, we're hoping that it's going to have the effect on many of our swing district uh, congresspeople.